Hey everybody, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, trends and the different entities that publish these trends, especially in cybersecurity. I think it's really important that this message really get to board members, C-level executives, but also the CISOs that are running security programs out there. So there's all these entities out there, I'm not gonna name any names, um, that come out with trends around cybersecurity. And a lot of these entities, and this the specific entities that I'm talking about are ones that um, acquire analysts that have previously done work in operations, in risk management, in product security, et cetera. One thing that's always been a pet peeve of mine is how a lot of these trends by one or two or three global research entities really dictate the strategy for security programs worldwide. And it's easy to make a playbook on what one of these entities may say because they have hundreds of analysts, if not thousands of analysts that are representing them worldwide. Um, from personal experience and interfacing with some of these, and again, my background before Versprite even spans working for a couple of different Fortune 50s, is that there, there's a lot of things that are out of touch. I look at some of the trends that have just come out today, you know, some of the things like around, you know, attack surface management, definitely important, or, or introducing new terms like cybersecurity mesh. Um, sometimes, you know, they introduce things and in new vernaculars. I, I remember one time, you know, the, the, the coveted acronym of GRC, Governance, Risk and Compliance, now being redubbed as Integrated Risk Management and being told that GRC is no longer being mentioned. And uh, this was, I think, four years ago. Um, another thing that was mentioned, you know, recently with uh, some of these entities is the fact that, you know, pen testing, for example, is the major driver is just simply compliance. And then there was another instance where I was speaking with some of these uh, analysts where a lot of times I felt like I was the one providing the background on some of the trends because of maybe their experience was more on the product suite. So as I say all these things, it's super important if you're on the board of an organization, if you're the C-level, CEO, CFO, CTO, CIO, and you're having to think about cybersecurity strategy with your CISO, or if you're a CISO, you got to understand that strategy begins looking at your capabilities and understanding your overall organizational threat model, understanding what are your resources, what does your product and services do, what is your global footprint, understanding what is, what is your mission and vision for your organization, and having that drive your strategy. There's way too many cybersecurity leaders that are out there that are driving their strategy based upon these lists and based upon what's safe. I'm not saying that that is, you know, what you might be doing specifically um, as you are hearing this message, but there is a high number of cybersecurity, you know, programs and groups and leaders still today um, that are still taking a page from this playbook. And, uh, you know, we, we don't do this on a personal level, taking it from a macro commercial business example to a micro. We don't do this on a micro level. I mean, hopefully we don't. We don't secure our homes, just how the neighbor or, you know, maybe a friend across town is securing their home. We, all, we always have this innate personal threat model that, you know, understands what's important to us and uh, what are some of the responsibilities that we have. And oftentimes that gets sidelined when there's these, you know, coveted lists that come out and it really creates a, uh, an easy way out for leaders to be able to say, well, I have all this industry evidence that says this is where we should go so let's go and so just remember that you know it's important to not always be the sheep and try to be a little bit more of the lion and lead your program based upon what's important to your mission your vision for your organization do you understand that and reconcile those objectives with your capabilities your resources um, your training that you have within your people process and technology. Thanks so much.